Is Bun the new Veet? Well, it can do a lot of what Veet can do, and it can do one thing that Veet can't. Let's jump right into it. All right, let's take a look at the version number for Bun. Currently, I'm on 122. I want to be on the Canary so I can see this cool new feature. So I'm going to Bun upgrade on the Canary channel. All right, now I'm on the Canary channel, so I'm going to create a new file locally called index.html. And in there, I'm going to drop a simple white on black, hello world. And then I run that file with bun, bun index.html. It's ready to go. I'm going to do O and enter to open it in my browser. And there it is. It's just that easy to build a site. Let's jump over to Windsurf and dig more into it. So the first thing you're going to want to know is can it also serve external files? So let's go and take that CSS. I'll create a new file called index.css. And I'll bring it in with a link tag. Now, once again, bring it up in bun. Awesome. So I can also use static assets like CSS files and images. That's great. But what if I want to use something more complex, like say Tailwind? That turns out to be pretty easy too. To do that, I'm going to need a package JSON file. So I'm just going to use bun init. We'll just use the directory name as the package name. And I'm going to give it source index.tsx to create the entry point. We're not actually going to use that yet, yet though. So that's going to give us our package JSON, which is really important because now I want to go and add the bun plugin for Tailwind. So cool. And now I can add a new file in my local directory called bunfig.toml. And so in there, we have any options that we want for bun. We're going to say that we want to use the plugin for Tailwind if we are serving static, which we are when we do that bun index.html. Now we can go over to our index.css. We can replace our body with an import of Tailwind. This is Tailwind 4. And we can go back into our index and then start using those classes. All right, let's take a look. And there we go. Now we've got Tailwind on there too. Now can we bring in React or Svelte or one of those? Let's, let's try out React. Let's see what happens. Okay, to add React, we're going to need React and React DOM. That's going to come in as 19 because that's now the current release. Go back over to our index.html and let's get rid of our hello world and put in an ID tag for the root of our React application, classic, as well as scripting in our source index.tsx we created when we did that bun init. Let's go over and take a look at our index.tsx. We got this console log in there. Don't need that. But what we do need it is bring in create root from React Dom client, and we'll use that to run our app component. All right, let's hit save. Let's jump back into our terminal and again, bun index.html. And there we go. Hello world from React. It's that easy. Well, I mentioned up front that bun can do something that Vite can't. Well, in order to demonstrate that, I want to turn our index.html type server into an actual bun server. So let's see how easy that is to do. So I'm going to create a new local file called server.ts. And in there, I'm going to import that index.html file, and then I'm going to use bun serve. You don't actually have to add anything. Bun serve is baked right into bun. I'm going to say that our static asset in this case is on slash, that's index, and then I'm going to give it a fetch function. We'll take a look at that in just a bit. And then, of course, we'll just console log out where, where it's listening. So let's check that out. So instead of bun index.html, I'm going to do bun and then server.ts, the file that we just created. And we're again listening on 3000. Looks good. But let's make a change to see if it actually makes a change. Hit save. And there we go. So how is this any different than Vite? Well, we are running a server, which means we can add an API endpoint. Check this out. Now, this fetch function starts to get really important as it's called whenever we don't have a static asset to serve. So we're going to take a look at the path on the URL and then say, well, if we get a request for slash API slash names, we're just going to turn some JSON of Jack, Jill, and John. Now, if I go back to my arc and I pop in API names, we get Jack, Jill, and John. Awesome! Which means that I can make that API request off the client. So let's build ourselves a fetching function. We'll call it fetch names. It'll go off and fetch that API names endpoint. Then we'll bring in use effect and use date. Then we'll use use date to store our list of names. And we'll use a use effect to go and make that call. And then finally, we'll format those names. 
Hit refresh, and we've got our names. Awesome. Now, one last thing. Now, this is React 19, and this use effect, use state pattern isn't usually the way you want to do it nowadays. Let me show you the kind of React 19 version of this. So instead of use effect and use state, I'm going to bring in use, suspense, and cache. And I'm first going to cache this fetch function. And then we'll create a names component that takes a names promise as a prop and then uses use to go and crack that promise to get those names out of that promise and then does the UL formatting of those names. Now let's go take a look at how to use that. Well, we can get rid of our use state and use effect. And then just down here, we can invoke our names component with our names promise that we get from that fetch names that we cached. And we can wrap all that in a suspense with a div loading fallback. Let's hit save and see how it looks. All right, let's hit refresh and we get a little loading there and we get our names. How sweet is that? So what do you think? Is Bun's new ability to run a HTML file like this and also serve API endpoints going to make Bun your new beat? Well, let me know in the comment section right down below. And in the meantime, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.